Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Galetto Rossonero here with you guys. An important victory for Milan, the first victory in this group stage of the Champions League 2022-2023. 3 one victory versus Dinamo Zagreb. Not an easy team, they beat Chelsea in the first uh, match they won. Milan had tied against Salzburg and so with this victory, Milan uh, heading the group, 4 points. We'll see what Salzburg does against Chelsea this afternoon. But, like I said, a very important victory. A good performance by Milan that had some downs included with the ups because at certain part of the game, uh, Dinamo playing very well, um, but bits and pieces was kind of strange. Like Milan dominated for like, I don't know, 30 minutes and then five minutes, it was all Dinamo. And then Milan came back and it was back and forth where, uh, especially in that second half, that first half, guys, Milan controlling most of the game. Uh, obviously, Dinamo creating some chances on the counter-attack. Uh, Dinamo, like I said, a very tough team, a very quick team that have some good, talented players. Orsic is a phenomenal player. And so, uh, creating some chances of their own. Not waiting for Milan to uh, do to take control of the entire game, but Milan for that first half, guys, controlled it very well. They tried playing forward, they tried opening up the defense. Dinamo very well placed, um, trying to create some chances, taking a lot of shots from far. But they didn't really have too many in close uh, occasions. And so um, at the end of the first half, penalty shot for Milan. The defender clips lay out, no doubt about it. Uh, I kind of like the way the ref reacted to it. I got to be honest. Um, the Dinamo player is trying to come up to him. He's like, no, guys, step away. This is my decision. He didn't even go to the VAR. Uh, and he took control of the situation. Like he had a very good game, the ref. Could have given him a few yellow cards here and there. He didn't. He let the flow of the game go. He was very loose with the uh, the yellow cards. Um, but in Italy, it would have been a disaster. Like everybody would have surrounded him. He would have been pushed around. Not in the Champions League, my friends. They kept it clean and it was very good. And so Giroud steps up, scores the goal. So Milan goes into the uh, first half, uh, ending the first half with a one nothing lead. They come out in the second half and right away they scored the 2 nothing goal. So a cross from Leal to Salazmaker, uh, the 47th minute, I think. He scores the 2 nothing, a beautiful header. But Dinamo doesn't, um, doesn't back off. They don't back down and they start creating some chances of their own. The actual goal was a very nice play from the striker. I don't remember his name, but he back passes to Orsic, who um, is almost all by himself. So now he couldn't put his foot in. To help Mania, and so he scores the one nothing. But that back pass guys took out three guys, and so uh, good move from Dinamo. Milan two one. They seemed a bit nervous. Uh, like I said, some moments they seemed very much in control. Other moments they seemed like Dinamo was coming back and they were creating chances. Uh, but Milan scores the third goal three one. Tomaso Pobega, who had come in from uh, Tonali, um, good goal for him. I'm happy. A good young kid. And uh, that's it. Milan bringing it home. 3-1. Very important. I got to be honest. Benacer, Tonali, that midfield, they control it so well, guys. There are two guys. But they cover that entire field. It is crazy how much actual midfield and how much field they cover. Uh, great stuff from them. Overall, like I said, a very good performance by Milan. Salas Baker playing a good first half. Brian Diaz, I liked what he did in the first half. A bit less in the second. But I like what he did. Uh, the Catalan came in as a striker instead of Giroud. So, so guys, he's still adapting, but he didn't create much. I got to be honest. So the few minutes that he played, he didn't really play that well. And for the first time this season, we see Dest as a uh, offensive winger instead of a uh, solid maker. It's going to be interesting to see what he does during the season. So uh, Milan winning the game, 3-1, Forza Milan. Uh, that's it. Great performance by them, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe.